air is still, heavy with the promise of violence. A young Allosaurus, ribs etched by hunger, circles its opponent. It faints, a blur of muscle and predatory intent. The fortress holds. The adult Stegosaurus, the living citadel, does not retreat. Its back is a wall of armored plates. Its tail, an executioner's weapon. This is the canyon duel, a battle of desperation versus defense. A single moment, where two ages of the Jurassic will collide. Chapter One, The World of Thirst. This is the late Jurassic, the Morrison Formation. A land of titans forged by a sun that shows no mercy. The world is painted in shades of ochre and rust. The great rivers have slowed to a trickle, a muddy artery in a dying land. This is the dry season, the time of reckoning. It is the law of thirst. Here, giants walk, their shadows stretching long in the setting sun. Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus, living mountains, strip the high branches bare. They follow the ancient paths to the last vestiges of water. And where the prey gathers, so too do the hunters. Torvosaurus, the apex brute, and Ceratosaurus, the horned shadow of the forest. This world is a web of hunger. The shrinking waterholes force predator and prey to this lethal proximity. Every canyon pass, every riverbed becomes an arena. There is no escape from the geography of survival here. All must come to drink. Chapter Two, The Struggle for Blood. Our hunter, a sub-adult Allosaurus, is new to this war. He is alone, driven from his pack, marked by the failures of his first season. Hunger is a physical pain, a constant gnawing void that sharpens the senses and dulls the fear. Three days ago, he stalked a herd of Dryosaurus, they were too fast. Their explosive panic and defense he could not breach. Yesterday, a young Camptosaurus lost to the thickets. He has been chased from larger kills by the true tyrants of this land, the massive adults of his own kind. He is at the edge. Then, the scent finds him on the morning wind. A slow-moving fortress, a wall of meat and armor. He follows, keeping to the high rocks, his amber eyes scanning, calculating. He is not watching the herd. He is watching for the one. The herd moves toward the narrow canyon pass, the only path to the water beyond. This is the hunter's moment not of power, but of intellect. He moves ahead, a gray shadow against the stone, using the geology as his ally. A sudden charge, not to kill, but to scatter. The herd pushes through in a cloud of dust, but one is cut off, an adult male, separated, alone. And so we return to the duel, now with the weight of history. The Allosaurus blocks the canyon entrance, its body a barrier of desperation. The Stegosaurus turns, planting its feet, a mountain that will not be moved. The plates flush with blood. A garish, terrifying display, a warning written in crimson. The predator probes, testing the turning radius of the tail. 
The four spikes, each three feet long, are a fortress of spears. The Allosaurus is a creature of agility, of calculated strikes. It cannot break the armor, it cannot face the tail. It must wait for the single fractions of a second mistake. The Stegosaurus swings, a defensive sweep. The Allosaurus leaps back, the wind of the blow ruffling its hide. The hunter knows it cannot win a war of attrition. The sun is high, energy is fading, the hunger is absolute. It must commit to the one attack its kind has perfected, the hatchet bite. It must risk the Thagomizer to get to the flank. Chapter 3, The Red Moment. The Allosaurus explodes forward, ignoring the feint. It moves inside the arc of the tail, a gamble for its life. The Stegosaurus is too slow. It pivots, but the predator is already there. The hunter leaps, its claws digging into the armored hide for purchase. It opens its massive jaws, wider than a man is tall. The bite, not a crush, but a slash, bringing the full weight of its skull down like an ax. It rips downward, pulling muscle, tendon, and life with it. The armored titan thrashes, slamming its body against the canyon wall. The Allosaurus is thrown, its claws tearing free. It lands hard, skidding on the stone, but the damage is done. The blood is on the sand. The Stegosaurus turns, a final, defiant swing of its tail. But the flank is a ruin, the great muscle severed. The great beast stumbles, its back leg gives way. It falls, a mountain of life, returning to the earth. The duel is over. The Allosaurus, bruised and bleeding, waits. It watches until the last breath escapes the fallen giant. Hunger has been answered. The legacy. We zoom out from this one life, this one death, to the 150 million years that separate us from this moment. How do we know of this struggle? Because this saga is not speculation. It is written in the fossil record, an unhealed wound in a stegosaurus bone, a puncture mark perfectly matching the tooth of an allosaurus. This was the great Jurassic arms race, a lethal predator built for speed and a devastating slash bite versus an herbivore that evolved one of history's most perfect biological weapons. This was not malice. It was the engine of evolution, a brutal, beautiful, and necessary dance. The hunger of the Allosaurus forged the armor of the Stegosaurus and the duel defined them both. An echo of a life. The hunter becomes the hunted. The defender becomes the dust. When you look at a modern predator, a lion, a wolf, a shark, do you see an animal?
Or do you see the echo of the Allosaurus, its ancient hunger still driving the engine of the world? <laughs>